Hello everybody, Angus Hume, H-U-M-E, asked if I would consider making a bit more complex braids and pointed me to this blog here from uh, 3D artist Kevin John, where he describes a method of making uh, braided tubes or braided ropes. Actually, it was no problem to follow uh, this until he came to this point where they uh, fillet a curve and unfortunately Modo cannot do this. I will show you later what I mean. But fortunately I also looked at uh, the other tutorials here and there he shows another modeling a braid method too including multi-strand braids and I think this can be done in Modo a lot easier than he describes here for 3ds Max. So let's do this. I switch over to Modo and you see here I have already done a three strand braid that's pretty similar to what I uh, did in my previous tutorial. Then I did a four strand braid, a five strand and this one is uh, the easiest really because you can use snap to grid in most situations uh, which makes life quite a lot easier but I don't want to demonstrate the easiest one. This is why I make a new one with uh, six strands. So let's get rid of this and see the base material go to the model tab we don't need to see these and first I would like to show you what I meant about beveling uh, an edge or a curve in this situation we would need to have uh, a possibility to make this here more round which means I would have to bevel this vertex here. But look what happens if I bevel this with a round level of 2 for example, poof, it's disappeared. And that's a fact of life. I don't know if it is a, an error in Modo. But anyway, it can't be done. And I tried several ways around it and none of them successfully. But then I thought, well, at least the other uh, tutorial I looked at can be done very easy in Modo. So let me start. I shift click on this symbol here, press the A key and the first thing uh, we must do is a little math and if I want to make a six braided uh, band, uh, a six strand braid, sorry, then I, the calculation is 2 times 6 is 12, minus 1 is 11. So I select this edge here, Alt-C, and make a count of 11 uniform, and do the same here, Alt-C. Now we can, of course, not use Snap to Grid, but we can F11, uh, Snap to Vertex, and then Shift-C, and cut through here, shift click, cut through here, and I am only interested in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, control copy, go to, to this empty mesh, control V, we don't need the plane, but we need to see the vertices, and then I go to front view and the first thing is we must measure the distance here so we know about radius and all this stuff for that. I go to view dimensions tool and this is 83.333. So we say the radius is 41.5. Okay, back to top view and now we ignore the outermost vertices, namely these ones, 
and select every second from the other. So this one, skip one, select, select, ignore, skip one, select, ignore, uh, sorry, skip and select. Now I go back to the front view, W key and move this up by 41.5 millimeters. Then I select the bottom ones, W key, move them down by minus 41.5 millimeters. Then I can move these vertices in W by 41.5 and then this one W by minus 41.5. Now if I go to top view again I have this curve here and because we made it out of a plane we know that these two vertices are exactly one meter apart. So I make uh, four clones. Yes, good. Bring them up to here to minus one meter. Then we can go to vertex, merge, uh, automatic should work. Four have merged. And then we need to fill in the space in between and we have one and need another five or we can count here one, two, three, four, five. So we need five clones of this one. So duplicate clone, five clones, click in here and then I bring this up till the vertices here lay on top of each other, like so. Now we can get rid of the vertices with Control 1 and this is what we have. And next we need to make a tube, basic tube and we set the radius is 41.5 and I like to make this a bit bigger, 43. Then we can select in edge mode, that's very important, otherwise it doesn't work. Select all these edges and then all, sorry, run Seneca Menars quick pipe and we are done. That's it. Now we can render it. This would be some nice uh, jewelry, for example. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and you liked it. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye-bye.